Okay, just on the last night, the lions have decided to move out of the marsh where they've spent the day escaping the sun, and they're targeting a group of zebra, which are moving away from the marsh up onto the hill for the night. There's a really, really young zebra. It looks no more than four or five days old in this small herd. From the lion's point of view, that's a relatively easy target, but it has its mother and other adult zebras around. They're incredibly wary, able to pick up the slightest sign of danger. So. There she goes. It's incredible to see how their strategy is changing. Over the weeks that we've been watching them, they started as a, as a bumbling adolescence, really, and now they're working as an organized team, as you would expect with the Pride of Lions, moving left, moving right, and then another one through the center to, to pin down their prey very efficient strategy. A foal that big really isn't going to be much of a meal for these lions. We've got the two adolescent males, uh, eight, eight females, eight adolescent females, uh, an adult female and of course Scar. And if he comes in, as I think he is indeed, here he comes now at a trot, he's going to try and take over. If he does that, no one's going to get a look in. There won't be enough left for anyone. Here he comes now. It's the only time you see him animated. Most of the time he's lying down trying to look pretty. He heard the kill from an incredible distance, at least a, a kilometre away, about half a mile away, and he's coming in at a run. And no one messes with Scar. It's uncanny, really. I mean, the combined might of all those young lions, including the two young males, they're big now, they're muscly and tough, and yet they scatter like kittens as soon as he runs in. It shows how intimidating that mane is. It's one of the reasons they have such a pronounced mane. It makes them look big. I mean, he is a powerful animal, admittedly, but if they chose to turn on him, he wouldn't stand a chance. It's all about, it's, it's mind games, it's intimidation. And it works.